Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Commander review for Magic the Gathering. Today we're talking about Greel Mindraker, the mono black human spell shaper from Prophecy Set. Now, this human spell shaper is a 3 3. It costs 5 mana, 3 generic, and 2 black. And this ability is X black, discard 2 cards, oh, and tap. I missed that. X black tap and discard two cards from your hand. That's the whole cost. Very expensive. Target player discards X cards at random from his or her hand. So if X equals five, they're gonna discard five random cards from their hand, which is very cool. And most of the time you're just gonna pay, most of the time you're gonna aim, not that you will every time, but you're gonna aim to pay whatever the hand size is of the player you're targeting. Uh, so if they have a hand of seven, you're gonna try and pay the seven X to do that, uh, if not as much as possible. No card rulings, very straightforward. Um, card to synergize with this, Geth's Grimoire. Make your opponent discard cards. You get, you get to replace the cards you discarded. Um, now, I said this with Mono Blue. Mono Blue is probably one of the strongest with this because it's got so much fun discard syner uh, synergies. But I have to slightly take that back because Black literally has deck archetypes about discarding. So um, Blue has some fun, cool, interesting synergies that you don't see a lot. But Black and Red are probably going to have the strongest of these discard synergies, black being the strongest for sure. Uh, because unlike the Sphinx from the last video, Geth's Grimoire just lets you straight up draw a card whenever your opponents discard cards. So the blue will let you potentially know what's coming, but Geth's Grimoire is just gonna fill your hand so fast. The deck that I am building for uh, Greel is a mono black discard deck, of course. And uh, it's very much what you think. It's gonna have the rack pieces, it's gonna have ways to punish my opponents when they have no cards in hand or when they discard cards. It's gonna give me more value when they have no cards in hand. All those evil mono black discard shenanigans that you know and hate are gonna be in this deck. Popular deck idea on EDH rec is of course the inverse of that discard strategy where you are focusing on the cards you discard rather than the cards your opponents discard. Um, and of course, like I said earlier, black is going to have a lot more stronger synergies in this. They have half the madness colors in this color. So you're going to have all the madness cards you're going to want. You're going to have crazy cool ways to recur creature cards from your graveyard recur spell cards from your graveyard, steal cards from your opponent's graveyards, it's gonna be absurd. And then lastly, the mono black graveyard shenanigan deck idea is actually instead of filling your graveyard, it's all about emptying your graveyard once you put cards in. So Desecrated Tomb, Skeleton Crew care about when cards leave your graveyard. There are legendary creatures that care about this strategy too. Um, so they would go great in this deck, but your commander is going to constantly be able to fill your graveyard and then hopefully those cards are going to have things like escape or, um, oh, what's the other one that you can cast from, uh, unearth can let you cast from the graveyard, so on and so forth to then trigger these cool cards to get more value out of them. So very fun graveyard strategy for this commander. And that is going to do it for Greel, Mindraker, repeatable and political discard instead of the repeatable and political bounce. Um, if there's someone who's getting a little out of hand with their card draw or they are clearly the arch enemy, you can use this to your advantage to uh, take some heat off yourself, to focus on the arch enemy, make some deals, all that jazz. And of course, like Alexi, it is expensive. Five mana to play and that's a very big cost to have someone discard X cards, you know, so be careful of that, but have a lot of fun. I think all of these Spell Shaper commanders are very cool in their own way. I love the Spell Shaper archetype, 
Who knows, maybe we're going to be able to see some more spell shapers in the future. I wouldn't mind it. I would love to see what uh, Wizards of the Coast does for spell shapers in 2024. So, yeah, very excited. And of course, if there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for your support. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!